What's going on, dudes? It's Misha here, and from TechRo. It's Misha here from TechRo, and we are doing another YouTube video. With this time, we are actually scripting for a video game. Now, this is not a tutorial for how to make a video game, but this is a tutorial on how to make a script that will actually work for main menus, such as clicking buttons, hovering over, changing colors, designing. We're not going to get too complicated today, but we're just going to get to the easy stuff. So what we're going to write first is var is quit equals false. Make sure that's false. And then just do this and just write function on mouse enter bracket. Well, those then this bracket. Tab render. This is always hard to write for me. Dot material crap. Dot color equals capital C color. And if you guys are wondering what I'm writing, I'll explain all of this script what it means later. So color, then period, and write green. Okay. Now do enter another bracket function on mouse okay let me explain this first so this is function it's a javascript so and any script when the mouse hovers over enter means hovering over the thing we're gonna we're gonna put the script on the start game button uh what is going to do and the uh quit button when you create one quickly it's gonna turn green now what we're doing here is we're changing it once you we you don't want the whole thing to be green all the time. So once you take the mouse exit, meaning by once you take the mouse off the text that you have, it will turn into it will turn back to white. So do that and you can dish tab renderer dot material dot color equals um, color sometimes dot white and there we go so what this does so far menu control well, I mean what the script does so far is just this what you like what it should do and wait I forgot to add the one main thing to each of these semicolon semicolon just like on here yeah <laughs> can't believe I forgot to do that and let's add this and save that script drag our menu script onto our start game so let's click start game drag the script in and if we click play game wait crap um at the end of False. Alright, yeah, I forgot to put a semicolon there. Now it should be working. Sometimes I forget to add semicolons into my games or whatever into the scripts. And yeah, what? Yeah, I forgot to add a camera. Um, crap. Let's just add a quick camera game object. You know, I'm just gonna pause this for now. Okay, so guys, we are back and I added the camera here. That's what it looks like. So one more thing on yeah, your text. If you click on your text here, start game. Uh, make sure to go to component, physics, and box collider. What this does is makes the thing clickable. So as you can see now, it turns green. We take our mouse off, turns back to white. So that's so far. Now you don't have to do this. You can add a cool animation, with, which is really easy. Which we can do that in our next video, which is going to be animations. So this is so far how it is. Um, and let's go back and edit our script now. Wait. Um. Okay. The crap. I'm just gonna add that again. I don't know why that got off, but quit equals false. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do next in our script is something different.
but we're gonna go into our mono develop and everything uh, so what we got right now is an enter one that when you actually click on the thing so what you gotta write on this script is function if you guessed it already on mouse up and then like this the same thing we did this time it's a bit different if we go into our menu control script if is quit is quit it should be like that yeah if is quit equals equals true make sure to do that um just wait guys for a second so we're back guys and this time we're gonna go on mono develop again we're just gonna go space i think and yeah and then we're just gonna use this bracket here and enter now we're gonna go back to our menu control blah, 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 okay look at that tab and then you're gonna write actually application dot quit now what that does is quits the application so yeah yeah and then we're just gonna close this statement up pretty quickly okay Sorry, I'm still like an intermediate at scripting. I'm not that good at scripting, so. And then we're gonna use an else statement now. So we're gonna go else. And then like this bracket. And then I'm gonna use menu control. And we're gonna write slash slash. It's got to be the start button now since that's done with we're gonna go application dot load level so if you don't know what that is what this is basically is it just is the application which is the game and it's loading the level you want to load now if you don't know what how the levels work and everything I will show you in a minute so I'm just going to load level 1, and then from here, enter, bracket, enter, bracket. So yeah, we just finished that up, and that's it. So we're going to save this script, and we're going to go to object there you know 3d text delete actually we're just going to start game command D quit text quit called menu into there and actually we're gonna click is quit so this will quit the game so let's try this out there we go it's working start game just wait for it there we go here's my game you want to die sucker Mm -hmm. he, 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 suckers, sucker, when you ready, come and die. Nobody likes you, dude. I'm gonna bleed you out of the game, anyways. Oh, sucker. Oh, I'm gonna kill you with a revolver. Because it's only for people who are cool. <laughs> Suckers. And we did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray, Pondesimos. We did okay, that's it. Subscribe. And wait, just wait just kidding, wait. Wait a minute, guys. Now I'm gonna show you how you can know what levels they are. So I've saved my levels and assets. We click file, build settings, 
and as you can see this here it is here is I you drag in your level so you make main menu zero you make your level number one just wait guys so I'm sorry about that guys um my brother he was uh wanting to get out of the bath so I'm actually gonna fix this a bit because that looked really weird uh, you can even rotate the letters around like it's not hard to do so I was just saying so when you go to build settings you drag main menu into so here's main menu you just drag the main menu scene right into there into the first spot then you drag your level which is this one and you drag it right into there so yeah that's it so Subscribe guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video guys, and peace off suckers